All right. So I got the uh, solar panel hookup. It says a uh, 50 amp quick disconnect. And it just snaps out. 12 gauge, 12 gauge, 10 gauge. It's fully overcast outside today. I'm surprised this thing's even running, really. But uh, I've got two panels out there, wired in series, 150 watts a piece. Well, that's what they're rated at, anyway. And uh, get about an amp, yeah, 40 watts. And it's been running for about a little, almost 16 minutes now. And it's working fine. It seems to be working fine. Can't wait till the sun comes out. Imagine uh, I will get a lot more juice. So, yep, there's that. And you can see it out the window there. Got my two solar panels set up out there on the patio. And they come individual, they're not hinged together like that. I hinged them together, put legs on them that fold out. And there's a handle on the end there. carry it with. Just used rivets to hold everything together. So that's working good. And I just need to tidy up my wire. I got a reel coming for this wire because this is like supposed to be mobile. So I'm going to roll this up on the reel and plug it from there. And plug it from the back of the panels and put the wire on the reel and then fold up the panels and you can carry the panels. And then this has a handle and it can be carried. I ain't gonna lie, those things folded up together about 60 freaking pounds, so. Uh, but I mean, if you're just gonna, you're gonna be somewhere for a few days or a week, it only takes a few minutes to set it up. And uh, I got it so it closes on the glass. So the two panels close in on each other to kind of protect the, the glass and keep dirt off of them. And it puts them in the dark too by closing them up so that they're not running off of any ambient light. Um, so yeah. Quick disconnector. And when you when you disconnect this from the box, it's just flush with the this is just flush with the back of the box, so it doesn't, doesn't stick out anymore. So this is just meant to sit it sit it somewhere and use it like in the tent and run the cable in to the tent and charge this thing during the day. And this thing will come on. We set this thing to come on automatically once the sun comes up and provides enough power to power this thing on because it doesn't power off the battery like most controllers do. This thing's exactly reverse for most controllers. You have to plug the power in from your panels first to set it up and then you plug it into your battery. So you can hear this thing, it sounds like a freaking head in there. But it's, you know, it's running on no sun, so pretty impressive still charging however uh, be it as <laughs> however slow the wall charger charges faster than this but uh, at least it's work so I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out uh, you may wonder why I mounted all this crap on the outside well this potentially generates heat in the conversion process from stepping down from 36 volts and as well, you can hear that thing <laughs> it sounds like a hair dryer so, I mean, I could probably mount it in the box. This thing isn't even putting off any heat, but imagine the closer it gets to 10 amps, the warmer it'll get. So, it's putting off no heat at all now. It's not even warm to the touch. So. And it's been running for almost 20 minutes now. So, yeah. Anyway. Further testing needed. I'll check back. I'll probably put up one in some full sun and see how this thing performs in full sun. Now we know how it performs in no sun.